Hey. So my hair is wet. Let's just get that out of the way. My hair is wet. I'm aware. So you guys, today, I am going to be trying something really new and really cool. Um, for you guys, my hair is wet, my eyebrows are on, my eyeshadow is on. This is what my eyeshadow is going to look like today. Cause I have to do something, but nothing like crazy. So, this is... This is my eyeshadow. I use this guy. This, you had me at Hello Palette from ColourPop, which surprisingly enough, I am super obsessed with. I really like it. I don't know. But I got the coolest package in the mail that I have gotten probably ever in the existence of me getting packages in the mail. And oh, having used it, I've been dying to use it. And literally as soon as I had a reason, I was like, <laughs> let's get it. All right, so I got an Artiste brush in the mail. Super thank you to Artiste for sending this brush to me. It is their new Elite Collection Smoke Finish Oval 7 brush. And besides the, like, the, nothing says luxury like the packaging of this shit. Like, look at that. It is so fucking beautiful. And these things, they are heavy. They're just, oh. it feels so good on my face. And you guys know I'm a diehard beauty blender lover. That is my ship. I use a beauty blender. Always using a beauty bl beauty blender. So, I want to see if this, like, puts on my foundation and concealer as good as a beauty blender does. And it doesn't leave streaks. It looks like this. Look how, hey, look, it's us. That is how beautiful this is. So, I'm obsessed. I'm freaking excited. Let's, let's just, let's just get it on. Because I, I can't wait. So, I'm going to be using the same foundation routine that I always use. This Tartiste Pro Glow uh, Liquid Highlighter first. And then I'm going to go in my Estee Lauder Double Wear in the shade 1 in 1. Oh, God. I always put way too much, like, of this. So, I'm going to run out of this so soon. Because, ah! Because of that. Like, I'm, I get it going good. I'm like, oh, this is a nice line. It's going to be fine. And there it goes. And it explodes all over my hand. So I'm going to see if I can grab my little brush. I don't know where it is. That's fine. So I'm just going to mix this on the back of my hand with the end of a different brush. Because I usually put this like on my face with another brush. Like I will put it on my face first and then blend it out. But we're just going to have to do it this way today. Because I don't know what I did with that flat foundation brush. And oh wait there it is. <laughs> Cool. So I just like to smooth my foundation upon my face first. Like so. Really get it on my nose because y'all know I don't have an easy time keeping foundation on my nose. I have a little redness going on over here so we'll do a little extra. Alright. Up the forehead. Yas. And we'll go around the brows gently, gently. Alrighty. So, I still have this much left over because I always put way too much of that foundation. It'll look a couple extras up the side. And that is fucking way too much, but that's fine. This is, we're going to be full coverage today. It is time. Oh, I'm nervous. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh. Yeah. Gonna have to go over that nose with a sponge. This is an experience, you guys. It feels so nice on your face. Mm -hmm. I'm getting really good in the little nose creases. That's pretty cool. It's so weird for me to drag something across my face for foundation instead of like pat. You know what I'm saying? And around those brows. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh huh. And we're fucking done. Wow. I am gonna take my sponge because my nose. You just can't put foundation on your nose with a brush. I don't care what anybody says. No brush 
I'm just gonna have my nose covered. Like, I don't even feel the need to go over this with a sponge. I just kind of do it out of like instinct. Like, but I need, I just need a little extra on my nose there. So, just, wow. I think it looks phenomenal. Let's go down here a little bit, like I would normally do. And my foundation just like that. Wow. I think it's looking super fantastic, don't you guys? Look. You can't see any like little streakies or anything. I'm a little dry right here, but I kind of always am. Huh. Well, this brush is like a $47 brush, so it better be freaking amazing. So I'm gonna try it with concealer as well. I'm gonna put on my concealer as I normally would do. Like so. Do do do. Do do do. Do 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 do. Oh, nope, need more than that. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Let's see how it works with some concealer. Okay. Holy shit, okay. Well, this is probably the quickest and easiest I've ever blended out concealer in my fucking life. It really like sh sh sharp pointed that eyeshadow. I guess I'll dip that to the other side too then, huh? Yeah, we're gonna go back and blend over that because I don't really like the, that look. I mean, I get that look if people would like to do it. I don't. So. Huh? Yep, yeah, okay. Well, I definitely see what all the fuss is about when it comes to these brushes they're kind of incredible um, it says you can use them to put powder on as well and I'm not gonna fucking do that because I, I don't want to put powder in it <laughs> but genuinely what it comes down to is I don't want to put powder in that brush so my fucking thoughts let me get some powder everywhere here I think that that brush is incredible I think it's amazing and I, you know, I never pretend to like something because I got it for free. Like, that's just not really my style at all. Like, if I don't like it, I just don't like it. And it's not a big deal. Most brands are pretty chill when it comes to stuff like that. If you're reviewing their product and it's not for you, they're just like, whatever. It's not for everybody. Nothing works perfectly for every single person. And they kind of just are like, you know what? Yeah, that's fine. Like, you don't have to like it. It's not a big deal. So, um, yeah, I have no reason to lie. But this guy here is incredible. Like, I think my makeup looks just lovely today. Like, that's a cute base. Like, I like it. I have so much foundation on the back of my hand right now. Because that was such a waste of my foundation. So, you guys... I definitely want to know what you think. Do you guys use Artiste brushes? Do you love them? Do you hate them? What do you think about it? You think that they're just not worth the hype? You think they're not worth the money? What do you feel? How do you how do you like it? Sorry, I have to finish the rest of my makeup because I actually have somewhere to go. <laughs> so guys, this is gonna be a pretty short video for me. You know, I normally do like 150 year long videos, and I'm just like chatting up a storm but today my dears I, I guess this really could have just been a get ready with me huh get ready with me I don't think about stuff all the way through so oh yeah I'm really surprised at how much I like that little color pop palette 
And I keep thinking that I've already talked to you guys about it, but I haven't because I filmed a um, BoxyCharm unboxing and I never posted it because I got interrupted like a thousand times. So the video was just really, you could just like visibly see how annoyed that I was <laughs> trying to <laughs> film it. So I just scrapped the whole thing and we'll just pick it up at the next, at the next box the charm. If that's something that you guys would even be interested in seeing, I don't know. You may think that's real stupid, but if that is something you'd want to see, definitely leave me a comment and let me know. Again, the Artiste brush, is, this eyeshadow palette is just beautiful. A little highlight in the very center here. What do you think? I haven't even taken the plastic off. It's a good one. I like it. You had me at Hello Colourpop palette. I'm a fan. So guys, what's been going on in your lives? I feel like I never do these little chitty chats. Oh, I tried to be cute and I threw that brush on the floor. So I'm gonna grab my bronzer. It's just my butter bronzer. I'm so physician's formula. Did you guys hear the physician's formula is coming out with a perfume that smells like butter bronzer? And I am here for it. I can't wait till that comes out because I'm gonna buy it. Mm -hmm. Cause I just smell this all the time. It smells so so sad. Like I'm running out. I really do need to buy a new pan. But I never see. This is the light bronze, and I don't see it often. And your girl is light. She just needs a light bronze. Look, make me look a little light. I really need a minko point so I look on my hand. But I don't have any in here, so that's just gonna have to be okay. I'm gonna put my artiste brush. Gorgeous, gorgeous, beautiful angel back in its fancy box. Thank you again to Artiste Brush. I don't even think I said thank you. Thank you, Artiste Brush, for sending me this. You can send me as many of these as you want to because I love them and I think they're phenomenal. So, if anybody here is friends with Artiste Brush, let them know. Your girl loves their brushes and would definitely, 10 out of 10, would use them again. Mm-hmm. And Tartis Pro Glow on the go. I, I like this bronzer. Too. It's a bronzer, but I use it to contour. And I really have not been into super chiseled contours lately because I just kind of use this big fan brush and just kind of. It's basically just more bronzy because I got some cheekbones. Like, I don't have to pretend. So. Yeah, you guys. I guess that's pretty much it. I just, um, I felt like the video was being <laughs> going to be really short. So I was like, fuck it. Let's do it. I got ready with me. And it's really pointless. Like, you guys do not have to stay and watch this. Um, I just wanted to. It's better. We're going to try a little glow from within today. Instead of our normal. I can see from the moon glow and I am just mixing the two colors that came in this Tartiste Pro Glow on the go palette here. I like the way they look mixed together because one of them's kind of silver and one of them's kind of gold and for some reason it just gives me this really pretty, like I said, lit from within. Maybe you're a little wet. Look. But yeah. So the world has gotten nuts. I'm not going to talk about politics with you guys because I always get in trouble when I do. But yeah, the world is crazy. It's a crazy, crazy place. Um, hmm, what else is new in life? We found somebody threw out a cat on a job again. That is always a good, fun time. She's fine. Her name is Pants. I didn't bring her home. <laughs> I have more than I can handle as it is when it comes to animals. I need no more. She's cute. I wanted her though. She's long hair. Oh my god, she was so cute. And her name, I don't know what her name is going to be now because she's got, went home with somebody. But her name was Pants and I thought it was a really cute name. Alright, we're just going to soak all this up on the sponge for now. That is such a waste. That's like $4 worth of foundation. But I can't risk it in that on my, the pants that I have on is actually the pants that I'm going to wear today. So, here's hoping my hair dries within the next, I don't know, 20 minutes before I have to leave. And it probably will not. Yay. 
that that such is life my friends such is life mm, so we've been, been working a shit time just working my ass off all the time real tired i feel like i'm kind of boring now like i used to be like all cute and everything i did was fun oh i don't know if you guys i even told you guys this but i took like a little setting spray and i put some of my um ofra like glitter highlighter in there and when i like i use it to like spray on my chest and it's like can you see the glitter it's like a glittery setting spray so it's like a subtle subtle let's see if we can get up there and see can you see any glitter no it just turns a little glitter anyway it gives me just a little bit of a shimmer but it doesn't like fall off on my clothes because it is mixed in with a setting spray so i thought that was a good idea i may do a we may do a thing where i talk about that one day and show you how to make some shimmer setting spray that's really all i did so i guess i've kind of told you why aren't we focusing my foundation is cute there we are so anyway you guys that's pretty much it i'm gonna pop on some mascara and kind of move on about my day um artiste brushes are amazing um i can't afford them but thank god they sent me one if you have been saving up your money and thought i really want to spend it on something cool maybe i'll buy an artiste brush it's worth it they're amazing that was like the easiest time I've ever had putting my face makeup on. It was a little bit challenging because I wanted to do the beauty blender bounce. But there was just no reason to do that. So I didn't. And it was great. Like it felt really unnatural. Not like pouncing the brush, which I'm sure you can do. But I feel like that would take a long time. Maybe I should do a video doing that. I don't know how many different ways you can use the number seven elite oval brush. Maybe so. Oh, I really want to try a mascara trick. I saw uh, a girl who is famous on Instagram. I cannot remember her name, but the way she does her mascara is super interesting. She like goes from she does what? First and then go. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm the boss. I don't like You're that. The boss of his phone. Stop. I'm the boss of you, and I asked you to give me five minutes. Oh, it does do something. Go like this first on the tops of your lashes and then from the bottoms and go up. Wow, it only took 17 minutes before my kids completely stopped listening to when I say, hey, I'm going to be filming in here. Please don't come in unless it's an emergency. And I guess an emergency was my brother won't let me play with his phone. <laughs> So I think that's actually a really cute way to do your mascara. I may continue to do that. But you just have to have a round mascara wand. Which I usually don't use. Because I use the Flower Flash Warrior. And it's like a comb. But damn my lashes look cute today. Hello. Anyway guys. Thank you so, so, super so much for hanging out with me. Sorry I got a little bit of mascara that's cute do you like it but i i just want to say thanks again because i've said thanks like 37 times i know my videos have gotten kind of dull lately i'm sorry i'm trying not to be boring but as a human being i'm kind of boring all right so That looks terrible. This is a disaster. I tried to rush and put lip liner on. That's like my life. This is a disaster because I'm in a hurry. Luckily, concealer's thing. I'm really going to get off here now. I promise. I keep talking. And this video has been dead and boring. Since I stopped talking about the Artiste brushes. Like, I, I'm fully aware that I word vomit and I just can't seem to stop. Like, I, I understand that. I'm fully aware. I know. But I just, I enjoy you guys. I enjoy your company. Mm-hmm. 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 It's too dark of a lip. 
for today. Mm, I don't like it. So anyway, bye. See you later. If you guys want to follow me on Instagram, you totally can. My Instagram handle is Grunch X Glitter X. If you want to subscribe to this channel and just watch me be boring and talk about what the fuck ever and sometimes I eat food, which I've really been thinking about doing an eating show. Would you guys want to see an eating show? That's like a thing now. I, I was so excited when I saw that was a thing. I was like, people are doing eating shows. I love to eat. That would be my favorite thing in the world. So yeah. Um, you can follow me on Facebook if you want to. Grunge and Glitter. I don't really post on there very much. Same thing. I'm really just like Instagram and here. That's kind of my... Those are my platforms. My platforms. So anyway, you can like this video even though it was really boring and I'm sorry. Um, definitely subscribe to my channel because we have interesting conversations. And stuff. And things. Okay. I suck at ending videos. Bye. Bye.